we did one set double leg drop squat one set single leg drop squat so now i want to do a short reactive drop squat where we drop fire back up we're only gonna do five and then we're gonna throw the 135 on my back got the leg bands on and we're gonna burn some legs out all right so for this one you're going into a double straight into a vertical so you want to spend as little amount of time on the ground as possible so up on your toes and again we're only doing five up tall stand up tall really straight down and as soon as you hit that ground fire back up and land back into a drop squat so pound pound it okay take your time in between up pound there's two up on your toes and punch punch three up four that one wasn't very quick quick last one okay a little sloppy but for five o'clock in the morning not too bad all right so now we did a nice little reactive plyometric set a couple different directions we can go here one direction right to the back squat direction number two you could just do basic squat you could do a goblet squat you could do bilateral motions where you do any sort of squatting like that you could do single leg it doesn't really matter for me i want to work on my hips today we are going to do a little bit of mini band work because mini bands are a great tool you can get mini bands anywhere on amazon all kinds of places but few things to know about mini bands uh, every different company has a different color different colors different thicknesses different thicknesses different resistance so you kind of just have to play around you can't say oh grab the green one because the green one for this is different for the green one for there so there's no consistency second thing about mini bands a lot of people put them on their feet and that's okay but remember what are you trying to do here for me I want to get my saddlebags I want to get my hips going so I'm gonna put that mini band right above my knee joint if I put it around my ankles while I'm doing these motions it puts a lot of stress on your cruciates your MCL and your LCL so as your knee kind of bends side to side that starts to strain those knees and over time it'll wear your knees out if you don't do proper form so band above your knees first thing we do side step so two inch side step so this front leg here that I'm pushing against almost like a wall I can push a wall of snow and on the back leg I'm driving with the inside of my toes so I've got a 12 foot box here I should do a couple quick two-step lateral motion two inch steps short step 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 and again keeping that knee and that ankle driving driving and you can add quick step if you want you can stay here and hang out here my hips are already burning but this is lateral mini band side steps lateral steps side stepping with mini band on okay so three good mini band exercises sideways number two hip rollers so you stand your legs nice and wide toes mash to the ground mash that big toe into the ground like you're grabbing floor of the foot let that knee collapse in and out this other leg stays nice and strong even as you go out you can even spread them this is a good hip roller exercise you don't want to do anything heavy these rotators aren't built for that more of a stability thing then go to the other side so don't use heavy weight just try to get that form that motion you may feel some cracking in those hips so if you have to adjust your foot position that's fine I like to do one leg but if you want to butterfly or the tootsie roll it's only if you can dig it okay hip rolls so we did side step you can do side to side too if you want I like to do a couple choppy couple choppy the other way choppy choppy hip rolls rolling in and out 
Okay, and then the last one, this is a real bear. These are what I call, well, I didn't make this up. It's called low ceilings. I didn't make any of this up, guys. Sorry to burst your bubble. So for these, what we're gonna do is you put the bands around your ankles. I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna slide it up out of that band. So now the band is around my right ankle, but it's around the bottom of my left foot. So low ceilings, you wanna crouch down like it's a four foot ceiling. You don't want your back toe to get in line with your front leg heel. And you do short step, short step, short step, short step. So now push with that left leg, push, push. Three, four, five. Since we have short distance, one, two, three, four. Notice how my arms are moving with it. So when that leg goes back, same side arm goes forward. Just like you're running. Now, I'm only doing these as a warm up. I'm already out of breath. You can do these as a great workout. Go about maybe 10, 15, 20 steps, forward and back at a time. Stay tuned, we'll do that another day. But for this, push, push. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, stay low. Three, four, five. Notice how my toes are staying parallel to each other and I'm trying to stay low to the ground. Okay, those are called low ceilings. A few rounds of those, your quads, abs, butt, neck, face, everything's gonna be melting off because it's gonna be sore and painful. Okay, today focus primarily on legs, but no one likes to do pull-ups. Some crazy people like to do pull-ups. I like to do pull-ups. So always remember, he needs to do pull-ups. So always try to incorporate some sort of pull-up. Doesn't have to be a bunch. But 10 pull-ups goes a long way. Pull-ups and squats. Get your TRX out of the way. We've got our legs primed, ready to go. Everything's feeling good. I'm gonna do simple, nice and easy back squat. We're getting into the working set for our legs. We've been on the bands for about 11 minutes now, give or take. Starting to run out of gas. We're gonna try to do 30 squats at 135. Superset that with a row, push up, squat. So three rounds, trying to really get that squat game going. Not a whole lot of weight for me, but still again, enough to challenge my legs. <sighs> I'm stalling. Okay, here we go. Say, like, Corey, get to the point here. You're wasting time. All right, so even your hands out. Step under the bar, load your back. Get the bar in a nice, comfortable position. Spread your feet out, nice and wide. And one, two, three, four. Get a better position there. Five, six. And I know my squat isn't the lowest. 11, my legs are tired. 12, 30. That was 30 squats, 135, and I'm tired. I'm gonna keep going. No rest, change direction. So I did a leg, right back to a pull, baby. Keep your muscles going, legs are working. 
back's warmed up. We're gonna go ahead. Inverted row. Hold your arms tight. Walk all the way underneath. Doing ten. Three. Where are we at? Push ups. Some say push ups. I said push ups. I like push ups. Push up. Just push up. Push up handle. Going to 20. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Going to 20. All right, so move your back, get it underneath you, and go to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Oh. Twenty, twenty of those. One more set. Do the pull-ups. Go to pull-up. Do a close grip, neutral grip. Ten pull-ups. Twenty push-ups. Keep it going. That's it. Ten squats. Nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three. Try to go nice and deep. guys we did an upper body cycle for a warm-up on the spin bike and then we did some plyos some mini band some horizontal pulling a couple push-ups a couple pull-ups but in the mix of all that we did some leg banded loaded back squats 30 20 10 I can still walk so next time I'll try to go a little bit lower a little bit deeper, a little bit slower, a little bit more controlled. But as you can see, I'm out of breath. I'm done. I got to get going. So from here, you can mix in maybe some more arms, some more abs. But don't wear yourself out because tomorrow is another day. We got some more to do tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the leg banded back squat workout. If you guys have any questions, find me, Dr. Corey. Till then. Have a nice day, guys. Thanks. See ya.